YouTube world. So we got the quarantine tank with the crayfish. Got the sponge filter working out real nice. And we got the crayfish, he's in there. He's kind of balled up, but he's in there somewhere. Yep, he's balled up. So, just wanted to show you guys, you can make a filter pretty much out of anything that moves water. So I had an old overhang filter, but just the pump itself. I don't actually have to overhang anymore. I have no idea what happened to it. I don't even know where this necessarily came from, what type of overhang. But I knew I always had one laying around. So basically, this fat part is on the sits on the outside. Oh, let's see if I can give you an example. Probably not. Because this big thing is in the way. So anyways, you got your overhang filter here. This part actually sits on the outside, and this part sits in the inside. This is why you got the gasket, so it sits in the blue part, right? So it always has to be submerged with water. Then you got that big intake tube where it goes in the tank. And this is why you always have to make sure there's water in your overhang filter before you plug it in, and also have a, you know a cup of water and keep filling it up as water as it's trying to prime itself alright but anyway so what I'm going to do is because I just want the water in here to be moving around a little bit more aggressively well not more aggressively but you know just moving around I'm going to take a sponge filter on here and I'm just going to plop it on top and then I'm just going to put it in so I got this pretty cool too right here. It's at the dollar store. It's all plastic and it has a pretty cool grabber on it. And yes, I'm just gonna grab one out. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I grabbed one out, I went ahead and dropped it in here. These are actually sponges that you can clean kitchens and bathrooms and all this good stuff with. And you get them at the dollar store, I believe there's six of them in a pack or it might be three in a pack probably just three but they're a dollar for six or three not a hundred percent sure but when I actually built my uh, swamp filter for the um, mechanical filtration this is actually where I used a whole lot of sponges and the thing is as you can tell the color coordinated so I had to buy even more just to get them all blue now I was like, you know what, I'm just going to use green on top because I was like, this is getting ridiculous. Anyways, the sponges are pretty cool because the way they're made, so they're all nice and tight. And the other side, you know, that's where they had to tie it off, right? So basically, I'm just going to kind of spread that part open a little bit. <laughs> and I'm going to put that in there. And that's all to it. So, one minute. So, like I said, you can pretty much make a filter out of anything as long as it moves water and you have maybe a sponge. So, um, it was actually not as easy as I thought it would be to get it in there. But, I got it in there and thinking about getting a zip tie just to make it, you know, nice and secure because I don't know what's going to happen when I actually turn it on because the idea is you would have the you know it would be overhang filter so yep that would sit against the glass like this then it would be connected to the plastic piece and you have the inline tube going in so this would be the inline tube here but my idea is it's going to pull water through this and it's going to push water out of that so hopefully that works so just going to throw it in there because we're all excited right now with all that stuff floating around because um, I took it from my overhang filters and put it in there. So it's like a mushroom. <laughs> but it does work. So just to show you it is moving water 
you know you can see maybe from that one right there so it's definitely working it's definitely definitely interesting on how it's working but crayfish is protected from it and I don't actually have to zip tie it so that's cool I'm just going to kind of put that in there neatly and I'll be right back I'm going to call that the uh, do-it-yourself mushroom filter <laughs> all right guys so yeah he does need a spare part of an overhang filter and a sponge and got the mushroom filter <laughs> all right so I went ahead and kind of put it into the gravel kind of into the gravel so it kind of really looks like a uh, mushroom <laughs> I don't know why I'm going for that idea. It's just kind of cool because it's green and it looks like a mushroom head. So yeah, so that also moves water around. So I know I just put it in so I can't say if it's really working, but oh yeah, it's working real good. So if you look right here, it's shooting the water. It is definitely, definitely working real nice. So let me see if I can get a good picture here. So you can see it's definitely working real good basically yeah it's working real good I know you like we see we see all right so that's the mushroom do-it-yourself filter all right so yep that's definitely going to get stuff moving crayfish would be a little bit more happier and we see what happens There's a lot of bacteria in there bacteria is it bacteria I have no idea well anyways Y'all have an awesome night. Laters.